Hello, boys and girls. We just finished unit one, lesson two. We learned about making connections and how to apply our words in our day, in our lives, and how to make connections so they stick in our brain and we remember our words. So I wanted to do this with you and show you some connections. I made about three of our words. One of them is, we talked about this last week, cautious. Okay, we can all think of a time in our life when we've had to be a little bit cautious, hopefully. And by making these connections and thinking about a time in your life that you've had to use this word, or maybe you saw it on a movie or any, read it in a book, you're going to remember this word better. So, I'm always a little cautious when my three-year-old gets into the fingernail polish. I'm always a little cautious of where I put the fingernail polish after two days ago when I found this in the backyard and she'd painted her foot. So now I'm learning to be more cautious of where I put the fingernail polish because I don't want fingernail polish all over my carpet. It would stain and make a huge mess. So I connected the word cautious in my mind because I remembered in my life time when I had to be cautious. Another word is story. There's multiple meanings for story. And one I remember is when I'm just sitting and reading a story. A tale, a tale that someone wrote. This is a fun book, Chocolate Fever. So I just connected. Hmm, many times in my life I've, I've laid down or sat down or read stories all the time. And story. And another connection with story is whenever I go to hotel rooms, I have to get up on the second story or the third story or the fourth story. And those are all the levels of the building. So I remember story from the story that I read. And then I think of a time like when I went to Lagoon and we stayed at a hotel and I had to get off on the third story. So I remember those cautious and story by making those connections. Now the last thing, I two things I want to remind you to do is what work you're going to be doing. You're going to be doing exercise two today, right when we get done. Go grab your book. Hopefully it's with you right now. And exercise two is seeing connections. Hmm, that's cool because we've been talking about connections this whole time. So seeing connections says, look at each group of words. Three of them are alike and one of them does not belong. So three of them are connected and they're like each other, kind of like a puzzle piece and they connect. And one of them is not like that one. So you're supposed to find the one that does not fit with those other ones and circle it. Okay, so here's the first example. It says, girder, road, path, and track. Okay, so I can think right now, I know what a road is. There's usually paths on the road, and there could be a track around the path or the road. Girder, that's a big metal beam that people use to build bridges and things like that. So a girder isn't really like talking about road, path, or track. So the word that does not fit would be girder. Okay, that I would circle that word. Then we're going to do exercise three where we apply these meanings. We're going to circle the letter of the correct answer to the questions. So we're just going to answer questions. Number one says, which of the following can be a loft? So I have to think. What did Mrs. Seymour tell me that a loft meant? And when I read it in my book, what did a loft mean? Did it mean a house? Which of these can be a loft? Can a house be a loft? Can a house be floating in the air? Not likely. A train? Can a train be floating in the air? A valley? No. A plane? Yeah. The only one out of all of those that could be a loft would be a plane. So... You'd circle D, a plane. You'll just answer this question. So you'll do exercise two and exercise three today. And the last thing I wanted to make sure that I asked you guys, and I'm pulling it up on my other computer so that I get it correct, is did, have you guys looked at all of our, at our outings this month? 
I want to make sure that you go to your website and you check out where outings are located by you this month so you can go meet new friends, start to exchange email addresses and phone numbers and set up work groups and times that you can hang out and meet new people. You'll learn new things. You'll see lots of new teachers. So make sure you jump on your website and you get connected to those outings. Okay, have fun doing your work. See you tomorrow. Bye.